One word, parkour. Two words, parkour anime. Eh, hey, you know what, fuck it, we don't need the rest. I remember being 10 years old fucking obsessed with parkour. I must have watched those stupid ass Assassin's Creed parkour in real life videos a hundred goddamn times. And looking back today, 10 year old Joe had impeccable taste. This shit is cool as fuck. Look at what this guy does here. Ooh. Ooh. That is what I am fucking talking about. It pains me to announce this, but I will now be quitting YouTube in order to train for American Ninja Warrior. Thank you guys for being supportive all this time, but uh, it's time for me to go. Now, <clears throat> what if I say, Wit Studio. Now, to be fair, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if you guys haven't heard of them. They're kind of a small indie studio. They're not really known for all that much. Separately, these two things are great, but like a soccer mom and short shorts, if you mix them together, you've got yourself a fucking treat. Ladies and gentlemen, Bubble. Apparently, I am the only person on Earth who knows about this. One day, out of nowhere, a bunch of bubbles start to rain down across the world, and in Tokyo, a massive bubble explosion takes place on Tokyo Tower, causing a giant bubble to form around the city. Within the bubble, gravity is extremely inconsistent. Shit floats wherever it wants, there are many black holes everywhere, and a bunch of people hold parkour contests. You have no fucking idea how desperately I needed to see people parkour between floating cars and rocks. God damn it, Wit Studio, you've done it again. <gasps> the main protagonist wears headphones. <laughs> Hiviki hears a song resonating from the tower where a gravity anomaly is still occurring. After going to check it out, he falls off and is saved by Uta, a sentient bubble who takes human form. I'll keep the rest a secret, but there's not really much more to it than that. I'm not gonna pretend like it's your name or silent voice level, but it tells a very fun story with an incredibly unique and interesting premise. Wit Studio Parkour Anime. Go watch this. Bubble's biggest strength is that they never over explain anything. They tell you exactly what you need to know and let your imagination fill in the rest. And I love that. Minimalistic storytelling can go a really long way if used well. It almost lets the audience write their own story within their head, meaning that no two interpretations will be the same. This is exactly why I watch all of my hentai without English subtitles on, but that's just me. Now, I'd absolutely be committing a cardinal sin if I didn't talk about the soundtrack. Netflix hasn't exactly re released it, so I, I, can't, I can't show you any of them. Update, they're released. I do wish the side characters got a little bit more time. I really loved this character in particular. He lost his leg trying to parkour Tokyo Tower, and as a result, he can't do parkour anymore. When he watches Hibiki and Uta run together, you can feel just how much he misses it in his expression. And in the climax, he shows up to help Hibiki and Uta. It's a really subtle character moment that they didn't specifically draw attention to, but I found it very enjoyable. Hibiki did have the generic introvert and voluntary extrovert arc, but I still thought his backstory was pretty compelling. Not to mention all that doesn't really matter when- Wit Studio! Parkour anime. The ending won't make you cry, the supporting cast isn't all that strong, and I still have absolutely no fucking idea who or what the fuck the villain was. It really feels like they came up with the story after some guy pitched parkour anime, and you know what? Fuck it. I'm okay with that. I am perfectly content with an average story if it means that I get to look at this shit for an hour and 40 minutes. Hell fucking yeah. Wit Studio Parkour Anime. Anyways, subscribe, like, share, see ya!